Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nakia. I am a first year dental student at Ohio State. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. So for today's video, I'm just going to be doing some quick updates, letting you all know how things are going. I have some exciting things to show you, which are my loops. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. And then also I have a few clips that I took a little while ago practicing the class two prep. We have that practical coming up next week. So I'll put those clips at the end of this video. But for the most part, this is just gonna be updates and to let you all know what's been going on. So I think the last video that I posted we had just taken our second anatomy exam and um, we just took our third one. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. We took our third anatomy unit exam and practical yesterday and uh, things are finally looking up. <laughs> I did really well on this last exam and on the practical too. I literally got 100 on the practical, which is crazy. I was shocked to say the least but i studied a lot so i don't know i'm just really happy that things are kind of working out in my favor now <laughs> it definitely has been a very steep curve kind of getting back into the groove of being in school but then also adjusting to dental school and being a graduate professional level student it's a lot but things are looking up i've changed a lot of my study habits i'm going to talk about that in another video but it's just so nice to see things going more positively and that's not just with anatomy that's with all my other classes too I've been feeling a lot better about things and the biggest takeaway from that is just you need to stay on top of your material especially if you're someone who you know maybe needs a little bit more time to look at things in order to grasp the concepts anatomy is not an easy class there's a ton of information for example so what I did for the last exam was I stayed on top of it and I didn't fall behind I was studying every single day for it and and going into the lab as often as I could, but that just goes over with all classes. I've just been staying on top of the information, making sure I'm studying every day and not letting that stuff pile up until a week or whatever, a couple of days before the exam has been the biggest thing for me. What else? I got my loops. I'll talk about that in a second. Like I said, we have a class two prep and operative coming up. The class two is interesting it's very challenging but i feel like once you get it dropping a proximal box is hard at first i was like i have no idea what i'm doing but once i kind of practiced more i feel pretty good about it now i went in and talked to my professor today and got some feedback from her and she said the prep that i showed her was like a two two five maybe even a three oh which is crazy <laughs> a two five like i said in another video i'll link it down below is a b in operative lab which is crazy but they don't expect you to get four this is your first time drilling three is like really good two five is really good two oh is passing so i'm really just aiming to pass but i'm happy that drilling actually is pretty good to me she literally looked at my prep and was like this is beautiful <laughs> and then she started looking deeper and you know there were some things that i needed to fix but everything she told me i needed to fix were really quick fixes which is nice i need to not take as much off of the triangular ridges which obviously you want to preserve as much tooth structure as possible so that makes sense like i said is a quick fix and then i needed to go a little deeper on my proximal box other than that things were good i'm really good at smoothing the floor i feel like i've been getting really comfortable with drilling and making sure everything is smooth and all of that so hopefully that practical goes well and i will say that the loops have made a crazy difference just being able to see <laughs> what's going on has been so helpful i love my loops i will talk about that in a second so that's operative anatomy biochem is still biochem i did well in that exam so that was fine oral anatomy we have a tooth id practical coming up that's another class that i've been doing a little bit every day we have a program through our school where we get like digital tooth jars they scan them in and we can practice tooth id on that and that has been so helpful i've done a little bit each day and we had a practice practical today and I only missed two and I knew exactly why I missed the two because I just wanted to check to see which way she would lean so yeah I mean that's gonna be pretty good I have that next week I mean that's pretty much it we have some projects here and there and intro clinic and all of that are going well as well so I do want to do a whole like reflection video I'm planning on doing that so this is your chance. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please be sure to do that. But I'm going to talk about my loops. So real quick, our school didn't 
do a formal loops fair because of COVID restrictions. They did do a small one where you could sign up. I wasn't able to sign up for both sessions and there was different vendors at each session. So the one that I went to was Enova was there and Lumident was there. And then they had another little thing where they did like they as in oroscopic <laughs> did a separate session and I know I think designs for vision and q optics also did separate sessions at hotels where you could sign up for a time and go meet with someone one-on-one -on -one so that you could try things out and they can take your measurements and so i love the i guess presentation and the feel and the fit of the horoscopic so that's what i ended up going with so i will show you kind of what i got i went with 3.0 magnification and i think that that is perfect for dental school and probably when we start seeing patients too. I think that's going to be good for me. I really like it. It's not too magnified. I can still see pretty much everything I need to see. And then Oroscopic did a great job getting my working distance. I think it's perfect. I feel comfortable when I have them on and I just love them. Like I said, it is a game changer. So if you are a dental student, make sure you get loops as soon as possible because it seriously makes such a difference, especially if you're someone who has glasses or contacts you can't really see. You don't want to get in the habit of kind of bending over trying to see what you're drilling. The loops make a huge difference and I am obsessed with them. So I just got a classic black frame. I got the glasses frame. I kind of like the glasses look better than the sports almost safety glasses look. I don't really like that personal preference. So I decided to go with the glasses look and it's funny because my glasses almost look exactly like this frame. And I just think it's pretty flattering on me. So that's what I went with. Again, I got 3.0 magnification in there and it says horoscopic. My name is somewhere on there. There it is. Nakia Thompson DDS. And that's also on the case. So it also says that on there, super cute. Of course you have this where you can attach it to your head, make sure it's nice and secure on there. And then I decided to go with the wired light. Again, this is pers personal preference. I didn't like the fact that with the wireless, you had to change the battery so often. You have to change them like every three hours. I just know that that was not <laughs> something that I needed to do because I would forget to charge the other batteries and then it would just be a mess. So I went with the wired light. I have no problems with the wired light. I really like it. And then of course they have a little clip at the end so that you could just clip it on the back of your scrubs. That way you don't have to worry about this cord getting in your way and I never have problems with it. Clip it behind there, put my white coat over it and I'm fine. So I'm happy that I went with that. And I did get the Endeavor XL battery pack, which is the biggest one that they offered. So this lasts 24 hours, which is amazing. You probably don't need that right now, but just thinking down the road if, when I'm seeing patients, even now, I don't remember to always charge the battery. So having it be so long is perfect. So I really like it. And then of course it comes with some other things. I don't have the bigger case with me right now and I don't really feel like going to get it, but... <laughs> <laughs> pretty much just all that was in the other one was the little cloth so that you can wipe them and then there's some side shields here but I took those off because I didn't really like them so but I keep them in here in the event that I need them but they're there so like I said, I am loving my loops. If you are a dental student and you haven't purchased any yet, I would definitely go for it. It's not cheap, but they definitely are worth it. You need them 100%. I don't know how anyone can see without them. And I already can't see, and I don't know how people could see it with without it. So if you can get them, definitely get them. They're very helpful. And if you can't, I know that there's some on Amazon. A couple of my classmates have purchased Amazon ones that were like $50 and you get the magnification. Of course, it's not going to be to your working length, which I think is kind of a negative. But if you don't really care about that and you don't want to spend a ton of money, then go for the Amazon ones. I'm sure they will be fine and work just <laughs> the same. Those are my loops. I am in love with them as I have already stated multiple times. I love them. They are very, 
very worth it and it's cool because that like makes you feel like a dentist you know like whenever I go to the dentist I always see my dentist wearing loops so I don't know <laughs> it's just all coming together very nicely so I'm going to end this video by just putting in those clips from operative so you can see me doing the class two prep and as always thank you all so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next one if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe I'm actually super close to a hundred not really but kind of I'm just getting excited so again thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye